guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to set up your SPG passive speakers. These speakers are perfect for live performances, band rehearsals, DJ events, houses of worship, karaoke, and much more. Now these speakers come in four different sizes, eight inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, and 15 inch versions. And each speaker is also available in four ohm and eight ohm versions. Today we're using the 10 inch 8 ohm versions, but the setup for each of these speakers are gonna be the exact same. Now the cool thing about these speakers is that the design allows you to set it into different angles, allowing you to use it for different applications. For example, we can set it on the floor to its side to be used for stage monitors. They can also be set as you see them right now, standing up on its own. And each speaker is built with a 35 millimeter socket on the bottom so that we can set it onto speaker stands. Let me show you how to do that now. All right, so here I have my standard speaker stand that I'm going to use to prop up my speaker. So if we turn the speaker around, you'll notice here at the bottom that there is this knob. And this knob is going to be used to lock the speaker into place once we set it onto the stand. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is loosen the knob so that we can slide it onto the stand. So next we can use any of these handles to lift the speaker up. So now we're gonna align the pull of the stand to the 35 millimeter socket on the bottom of the speaker and then just drop it into place. After that, we're gonna tighten up the locking knob to hold the speaker in place. Now, in order for these speakers to work, we're going to need a powered mixer or amp to power the speakers. So let me grab one right now along with another speaker to show you that setup. All right, so now I have my powered mixer that I'm going to use to power my speakers. So next I'm going to need two speak on cables to connect the speakers to the mixer. We're going to take one end of one speak on cable and plug that into the left channel on our mixer. Then we'll take the same end on our other cable and plug that into the right channel of our mixer. Then we'll take the other ends of the cables and plug them into the speak on inputs of our speakers. So now let's go ahead and turn on the mixer. Next, I'm gonna raise the main left and right faders so we're able to hear out of the speakers. And since I have my phone connected to the mixer through Bluetooth, I'm going to go ahead and raise the fader for the Bluetooth channel. So let's hear how the speakers sound. Ooh, nice and dynamic, I'm hearing the full range of Coming in nice and loud and powerful. That bass. Bass sounds really good, it sounds nice and full. Now these speakers also have a speak on output so we can daisy chain more speakers for a bigger setup. So let me grab a couple more speakers now and show you how to set that up. All right, so now for my four speaker setup, we're going to run two speakers off the left channel and two speakers off the right channel. Now this is very easy to do with the SPGN series because of the speak on output on the back. So since the left speaker is already connected to the left channel of our mixer, I'm just going to take another speak on cable and plug that into the output of the speaker that's already connected to the mixer. Then I'm going to take the other end and plug that into the speak on input of the speakers we want to add. So then I'm gonna to wanna to do the exact same thing on the right side. Now it's very important to note that when you're using the outputs of each passive speaker, you're actually daisy chaining the speakers to each other in parallel. That means if I have two eight ohm speakers on the left channel, then the final impedance is going to be four ohms. And this is the same with the right channel. Since they're both eight ohm speakers, the final impedance is going to be four ohms. Now most powered amplifiers or powered mixers are four ohm stable. So if you wanna run two speakers off of one channel, you should use eight ohm passive speakers like I am using here. So if you wanted to put two four ohm passive speakers off of one channel, you need to make sure your powered mixer or powered amp is two ohm stable at each channel. Otherwise it could ruin both your mixer and your speaker. So before we hear all four speakers together, we're gonna raise the main left and right faders as well as the channel for my Bluetooth device. And then we'll play the music. setup for live sound because we can set these two speakers up for our main output and these two speakers here for stage monitors for your musicians. So I hope this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your SPG passive speakers. However, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always guys, I'm Perry from Rockville and I'll see you next time.